Hello and welcome. I am the Mecha Man. T H E M E K K A M A N. The Mecha Man. Uh, it is. Nope. Uh, 7 31 Tuesday. Uh, this is Destiny 2 Treasure Hunt Tuesday. Uh, it is 7 31. Well, July 31st. Uh, it is uh, the launch of uh, this event that is going on uh, for the upcoming launch of Forsaken. Uh, it is called the... Oh, jeez. It's a family philosophy. Here when she pops up. Uh, you end up getting an item from Tess. Uh, solstice solstice of heroes basically it's a uh, uh, a patch event uh, you end up getting uh, some older items uh, and you kind of do stuff to unlock it but right now we are doing uh, Destiny 2 treasure hunt Tuesdays uh, like always run over to Cade 6 while he's still here Up over to his inventory. Alright, what does he got? What does he got? Uh, I'm keeping these pages from his journal uh, just in case what's gonna happen. And I'm keeping all this stuff just in case. So I got two, one, three, one, and four. I already know how much the the cell stuff goes for. Uh, so we're gonna check to see how much we spend and how much we make as well out of this. Uh, looks like they're on Nessus all yours, friend. Uh, for Xbox, so I'm gonna go ahead and capture all those. Be brave out there, Hunter. Go to Nessus. If you're looking for the Chris Ark, he ain't here. Get off the cheap, sir, and get that ship flying again. All right, there's one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, I'm going to start with this one because I think that one's going to be the most pain in the butt to get because it's all the way down in the back. Closest is going to be this launch point here. Go over to that. Uh, did you notice? I'll put up a little bit of decoration. Uh, I thought about doing a green screen. Um, I, I kind of like having items in the back. Uh, you can also see the glare of the lamp right there. Here's my lamp. Uh, anyways, we are here for the Cade 6 Treasure Hunt Tuesday. So this one, Arcadian Valley, uh, it was like I was being called closer, like something wanted my help. Then I get, then I get to this tower with a triangle doorway and go through. That's when it got really weird. Uh, I remember doing this one before. It is actually down on the bottom of this well of the flame. Uh, so when you, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> um, so when you kind of come up and around, make sure you stay on the bottom. Um, hmm. I don't remember going through all that weird because it's supposed to be part of it's probably part of the quest that's why I don't remember it yeah we'll say that as it's backwards master's glare to glad and image we're gonna kind of hop on our sparrow our nifty Red glowy shooty thing from the most recent update and head on over to our round spire. Uh, pretty much it's a long drive for it. Um, but let's see how well it is useful. Passing a bunch of stuff. Oh yeah, that didn't hurt me. Didn't hurt me there either. Check my map real quick. I think I'm going the wrong way. Getting hit, getting hit. 
Oh, I am going the right way. Ah. So it is going to be this downside over here. Get to this lower level. I think I went too far. Pull up my map. I think it went too far low. I didn't go low enough. Uh, okay, so now I gotta find that triangle doorway. I want to make sure I wasn't gonna get lost. Now I gotta find that triangle doorway. Oh, that's not it. I'm close. There's the triangle doorway. Maybe. Am I? Yep. Okay, this is where he says the triangle doorway is. But I remembered it not being there. And just beyond it. Yep. Ooh, I got a legendary engram and some mods. So it says to go through the triangle doorway, but it this one's not. So it's very weird, very uh, hazy because he said it got weird. So, um, and then I'm gonna go to this one. So down I went. I thought maybe the deeper it got, the better access I would have to their core mind or nexus points. I do read a core's vex reports, sometimes. Anyway, found nothing but roots, so the roots is a key on that. Oh good, I thought I was going to die. I'm like, no! Uh, so the roots is kind of the key. And what they said on that is I'm going to try to avoid killing anything or going anywhere other than straight over to it because we really don't I really want to sit there and compare what I spent to what I earned now since I collected five and I did the math many many times before five is 24,000 glimmer Two four with three zeros. So that that's quite a lot of glimmer. Um, but if you do um, uh, some of the uh, strikes uh, or even the PvP, you usually tend to get it back when you have that one uh, uh, that one ghost on you. So now I know it's going to be off to this left through another triangle doorway. You just kind of keep following the path around the left side until it comes to this triangle doorway. Because you kind of come up to here and you see the roots. Kind of fall in. And you hear it when you come in. It's down on the left. Ooh, another legendary engram. Oh, and a lucky r rabbit's paw with two blues. I get out. Okay, so I'm gonna pull up the map before. Did I get credit for stuff? Oh, ooh. Uh, and then this one. I was just doing what Failsafe said. I mean, she seems reliable. Half the time. So I entered this cave and set up my little fallback point. Took a few steps in and BAM! The battle began. Except for that one. Glad I know where it's at. 
Uh, it's gonna be down here. What would you like to do? Uh, and there's a cave right here. Uh, one of your quests takes you through the cave. Uh, and you're just gonna come up, you'll see this fork here. Go to the right. It's gonna be pretty much the only hallway to the right. That's odd. And this one was pretty much dud. Ah. Because this is where you're gonna return from when you go on a quest. I was about to say, I never noticed that light being that bright anymore. Why are my lights so bright? I did get... Did get credit for something. I did not want credit for something. Uh, and then this is another one. This is usually probably where, uh, closer to where the, uh, um, Zur is. Uh, so this cache, I don't know. It seemed like a good idea at the time. How do you feel about climbing trees? That one's going to be closer to where um, Zur normally hangs out when Zur is on Nessus. Kind of try not to get shot. Yeah. Wow. Their uh, target acquisition is really good. So, uh, just kind of continue along your path up and out of the hole there gonna come to this clearing here and it should be somewhat visible after that tree beat backs I didn't even see that I defeated them yes I've yet to come up on it yet ah if I stop right here see it right there So, he said it was in a tree, because he asked you, how do you like tra climbing trees? And well, the correct answer should be, I don't like climbing trees, because I'm a hunter, and you don't get a nice little glide. And this one, no luck, I did get a, uh, a House Exile banner though. Leave is something that I have not received, but I do presume that it's going to be a hunter. Uh, and the last one is going to be this. I had no choice. Once I saw the floating rocks, there was no way I was going to weigh myself down with extra gear. Ah, uh, that one. Uh, in order to do that one, you have to go to the hollows here. Uh, and I'm going to continue on. Uh, with the driving to it, I hope I'm going to be going the right way. Every time I always want to stop and uh, pull up the map just to verify. Yeah. I'm going to do this, do this, do this. You kind of keep along your path. Uh, here it is. Here's the hollows. I try and pull up the map. Hopefully, I'm not gonna die. Hopefully, I'm not gonna die. Please don't 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 die. Load faster. Uh, it's gonna be off to my left, which is this way. So I could have just gone straight. Kind of just keeps on going deeper. Oh. I did not switch to the uh, sword because I really like doing the sword. Eh, and I get to run way faster. You just kind of keep on going down or down. Sunken cavern is where you're looking for. Then you start seeing some floating rocks. 
And they literally do float. Trying to take your time with this as I almost die. Because you're going to come right into it and you see it right away. Usually a lot easier to tighten. Uh, and instead of coming from here on a Titan, I recommend not doing that. I recommend taking this path. It is going to be a lot safer. And you don't have to retry so many times. Plus, with a sword, it's usually a lot easier because you're in third person. Be able to see. Once you get to this rock, always go to your last one because there's actually something there. Hmm. Okay then. That I haven't heard before. Uh, and then it's right there. But there's your last one. Uh, I did get a kinetic weapon. Um, <laughs> so, there it is. There's the Destiny 2 treasure hunt locations. We're going to go on back, find out how much we end up getting out of them. Just to double check. Oh man, loading times on Xbox. That's the one thing I really wish that they would fix. So we're going to go back to this uh, uh, tower. Uh, and as a bonus, I will go through and accept the first little bit of uh, the solstice portion of the quest. Um, and then that will be it. Uh, so like before... Uh, I've received this one before, so it's nothing specific to the chests that you have to worry about. So I'm just going to go ahead and dismantle. You're not going to get any glimmer out of it. You do get uh, exotic shards, but there's 100, 200, 300. Three hundred glimmer, four hundred, five hundred. Yeah, because those are a hundred each. Five hundred. I got uh, a couple mods and two uh, legendary grams. So. There were the locations, uh, they're fairly quick and simple to get to, um, which usually makes uh, makes it so much easier to do when they're easily accessible. Uh, a lot of times uh, it can be a little bit confusing, especially that first one with the triangle doorway. Says it, he says in the description that he actually goes through it, don't fall for it, it's on the left side of the doorway, even though he says he's going in it. Um, and that's a very misleading oh wait I already said that uh, I went back there so what was it one two three four five five I think six six hundred was what we came up with uh, and then pretty much three legendaries A sniper and shields and some arms even if I dismantle it, it's probably not going to get me anything other than exotics and uh, or legendary shards and uh, something else. Sniper, uh, only because my sword's very weak. Um, and like I said before, I am going to accept these. Uh, those are the Destiny 2 Treasure Hunt Tuesday locations. Um, once again, it is the uh, 31st of July. Um, 
you do get this solstice uh, there are specific solstice things I'm gonna go through okay then uh, I do like the the flare on the back preview the sassy time uh, 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 girlfriend alternative dance Alrighty then. Uh, this one actually looks pretty cool for uh, a ghost shell. A little late for the World Cup, but you know what? I still think it's pretty cool. That one's actually really cool. I think it should have been better. That one's very... Uh, uh, oh, what is it? Halo. That's very Halo-esque. Jade Rabbit. I have the Jade Rabbit. So what does this look like? Uh, you will notice the solstice. It's going to have that little star thing next to it. That's for the Jade Rabbit. It didn't look like it was a Jade Rabbit. Solstice and Grams. That is a very cool ghost shell. Predator. Oh, and here's our gray hornet. That is very cool. Very cool. Very, very cool. Blacklight Razor. Is it a flip phone? Nice. Um, looks like it's going to be some see-through stuff. Oh, uh, sunlit leg glow. Looks like you can sit there. Uh, this item applies an orange glow to all solstice or heroes. Solstice of heroes leg armor. Once unlocked, it allows available for all three classes. This elemental armor glow shines brightest when your subclass element matches. So I'm guessing elemental armor glow shines brightest when your subclass matches. Hmm. E. A. Uh, see what else there is going on. Uh, blue. Yeah, blue. One's what orange? Orange gives a little backlit. There's the blue on the whole outfit. Void. Okay. Then the orange. Kind of like I kind of don't. It's it just seems like it's another. It, it just seems like it's another shader. Thank you um, for shopping at Eververse. Very disappointing on the past ah there's gonna be a little video with this as well so this one's gonna be a little bit of a bonus uh, because we're gonna have this uh, video for it or is it a quest if it's a quest I'm gonna back out it's a quest that I didn't want to activate uh, I thought it was gonna be like a little cutscene or something so um, 
with that, I'm going to end uh, the Destiny 2 Treasure Hunt Tuesday uh, here. Uh, I am the Mecha Man, T-H-E-M-E-K-K-A-M-A-N, the Mecha Man. You can follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Uh, if you're watching this, you're probably watching it on YouTube. Uh, I have a charity event going to be going on all uh, the month of August. Uh, uh, and that is going to be a... Uh, uh, for stackup.org, uh, Chive Charities is doing a 10% happier charity drive, um, uh, where it's kind of a competition for who can raise the most money, uh, and winners receive extra bonus money. There are first, second, and third places on this. Um, so I am on the, the stackup.org, uh, uh, charity team. Um, thought there was going to be a some other sounds I'll put that back um, so that is for the month of August uh, else? Um, and on Twitch I have the affiliate status activated now uh, so you can go ahead uh, follow subscribe as well if you so like um, if not that's totally fine just go ahead and tune in uh, go ahead and give this video a like subscribe uh, like, thumbs up, uh, comment, do the things. Uh, once again, I am the Mecha Man. T-H-E-M-E-K-K-A-M-A-N, the Mecha Man. Y'all have a good one. Peace.